Race After Technology looks at the social dimensions of the data sciences, algorithmic discrimination, machine bias. And I got interested in it because a few years ago I was noticing these headlines around so-called racist robots. There seemed to be surprise around this idea that technology is not neutral. And so what the book tries to do is not only look at emerging technologies, but the longer history of science and technology as embedded in a social context. A few years ago, there was a viral video of two friends using an automated soap dispenser, and the soap wouldn't come out with the individual with darker skin because darker skin absorbs light. So if it's infrared technology, it's not gonna work as effectively. And so I use this kind of lower tech example to get us thinking about more complex systems like our criminal justice system, our healthcare system, education system, where a lot of these institutions are outsourcing human decisions and turning to risk assessment assessment tools. So by calling attention to discriminatory design, that is the human decisions, assumptions, values that shape the process of tech development, we're able to one, see the harm. We have a language to identify the harm, but the hope is not that we stop there. The hope is that by seeing the harm, we feel empowered, we feel motivated. And so I wanted to give the communities that I care most about the language, the conceptual tools, the kind of intellectual foundation to be able to both resist and counteract these powerful forces. And one book can't do all that, but I wanted to add my piece into this, this larger movement. One of the really rewarding things has been the support that the university has given to expand this notion of teaching beyond the four walls, to understand that I'm also in service and an educator for the communities that I live in. For some people, they're kind of confused, like how can you be studying technology in a black studies department? It's not their view of what happens in black studies, but the fact of the matter is black intellectual tradition has always questioned the narratives around modernity and progress because you're looking at history and society from the underbelly. At the same time we're saying everyone is created equal, has inalienable rights, you're looking at it from the point of view of people who are held bondage in that very system that's giving voice to these platitudes. The point is not to throw up our hands and say, we don't want technologies. It's to say, how are we gonna use these technologies? And so I hope my work contributes to that shift in narrative, that shift in analysis, so that people who feel currently disempowered by the status quo are able to use it in that way.